I did not survive Digimon. And I keep trying to give away a PlayStation 5 in the comments of every one of my videos, but nobody will reply to my Telegram messages. Do you guys want a PlayStation 5 or not? All right, we got, we got, we got a lot to talk about today. Somebody is impersonating me. People keep pretending to be me to get your money, okay? If I want your money, I will ask for it directly. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't want your money, okay? I don't want to message you on Telegram. I don't want your personal information to get free eShop codes. What is going on? All right. This video is going to be a little bit of a mixed bag. I want to address some things. I also want to talk about Digimon Survive because I've been hyping up this game for years and then it ended up not being good, anything close to what I thought it was going to be. First, though, I need to get this out the way at the top of the video. I've been trying to not talk about this just because I don't want to, I don't want to have to. This shouldn't be my job. I love you, YouTube, but my God, this has been going on for months now. If you see in the comment sections of my video or anyone's video, message me on Telegram for a free PlayStation 5 or whatever, anything like that, that's not me. Obviously, oh God, this, this feels like something I shouldn't even need to have to address because I don't know who is falling for this, but people legitimately do fall for it all the time. I get messages every day. DMs on Twitter like, hey, I don't have Telegram. Can I just message you here for my free PlayStation? How are you falling for this? It's clearly not me. The name of the account always says like beat em ups at Telegram with a bunch of different digits and numbers after it. No check mark that I have on YouTube. How do you think that's me? Honestly, more than the people scamming, the people falling for it annoy me <laughs> way more. We are trying as creators to block, ban, delete, and do what we can, but they keep making more accounts. They keep getting through YouTube spam filters. I don't know what else to do other than start actually giving away PlayStation 5. <laughs> the other one that was weird is somebody took the thumbnail from my uh, free game video about the eShop and using the coins and they put it on an ad, on their ad. It was weird too. They did it really sneaky. It was like an unlisted video that they paid to promote as an ad. So the only way you could find it was if you had it in your feed as an ad spot. Uh, and it had my face, it had my thumbnail. And then you click on the video with someone completely different trying to scam you into like Amazon information, gift card things, free gift cards. That took weeks for me to get removed, but yeah, that, that channel did get deleted now, which is the only reason why I'm talking about it is because we won, we won one, we won something, yes. Okay. That said, I did say I would give away an eShop uh, gift card to one of you if you could say perfect picture, pi perfect, perfect. What was it? I've already forgotten. If you can say perfect pickup, I'll give you a $20 eShop gift. I want to look through the people that submitted to see if anyone actually did it right. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup. Oh, I'm the champion of this content. Hi. Uh, this video is sponsored by Square Enix, which is not something I think I'll ever get used to saying, but Octopath Traveler, Champions of the Continent, is free to play, free to download, and out right now. And now I know what you might be thinking. It's Octopath Traveler and Wood, so he's probably gonna try and fit like eight of him on the screen at the same time, but that is just way too much effort. Yeah, so not to mention it would be complete chaos. No, 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 Sorry, I, I lost my train of thought. Rude. So you guys know that I love Dr. Path Traveler, and with this new game being its prequel, a free single player RPG, I downloaded the game right away. I love how much it feels just like the original, which makes sense because it was made by the same team. I just can't get enough of this HD 2D pixel art style lately. High quality graphics, engaging combat, and storytelling akin to the console experience fans expect, but optimized 
for your mobile device. Even the soundtrack composer is back with all new compositions. And due to the high success of the pre-registrations of the game, all players will receive a ton of additional rewards and bonuses, like leaves, which you can use to enhance your characters, experience nuts, an accessory for one of your characters, and even enough gems for a free 10 times summon. Yeah, look at all the summons that I got for free. With all that, said, it is obvious that now is the time to download and play this free game. A concept that will be familiar to you Octopath Travelers, at the start of the game you choose the path you want to take, wealth, power or fame, each telling you a different story with a different evil to face. But you can and should experience all of the paths as you progress through the game. If you enjoyed the original Octopath Traveler on Nintendo Switch, this portable prequel should be a no-brainer for you. Click my link in the description down below, get playing for free, and let me know which path you picked. A little quickie review of Digimon Survive. Some of you ain't gonna be happy, but you never are when I talk about things I don't like. Although I do wanna stress, people have this weird image of me as a guy that only reviews games badly. Like I will only talk about a game if I don't like it for the clicks. I, I honestly don't know where this mentality has come from because I think if you look, even just this entire year, Every game I have mentioned in any context has been in a positive light. In fact, it was only recently with the sports games, which I think we can all get behind that message, that I actually talked negatively about a game. Again, I mean, I, I'm actually a pretty big sucker for games. I just like everything. Speaking of, I don't like this. This is, <laughs> this is not mine. This is not, I don't take ownership of this. That's not good. No, wait, hold on, hold on a second. There are people that will like this game and I, and I wanna make it clear that I'm coming from a very different place to this game is bad. That's not where I'm coming from. This game is not for me because reading books also aren't for me. I don't I don't like reading books. I, I, I play video games, I watch movies and TV. I'm a dumb brain. I, I got worms in my brain. We established that last video with Kim. I don't read. So what am I, what am I doing today? Digimon Survive is a game that I've been hyping up for years. Literally, like five years ago when the trailer released, it, it painted Digimon Survive as this gritty, adult-themed game that was for an older audience now. It was tactics, and your choices really mattered. And if a character kicked the bucket, that, that character was gone out of your game. So be careful how you tread. That sounded amazing. That was like the, the Digimon game I wanted. I thought it was such a great idea. And then it went through obvious development hell. Like the game just kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. And honestly, if you go back and look at that original trailer, it painted the game a certain way as a tactics game. And if you look at the gameplay, it was very rough. It was clear it needed a lot of work. Janky animations, the frame rates even in the trailer was terrible, but visually it was a muddy, ugly mess that nobody would want it released in that state. So I'm glad they took five years to work on it and it looks exactly the same as it did. I don't know what they were doing for the last five years, but thankfully that's only about 20% of the game because the other 80% is a straight up visual novel, which I missed. There was such little marketing for the game that I don't think many people actually knew what this was when it finally released. I mean, I went live on Twitch, excited to play it, ready to dive in, not knowing really what to expect. And I guess what I wanted was it, some of my favorite memories of playing games back in the day was like PlayStation 1 and Digimon World. You know, Digimon was doing things that Pokemon wasn't doing for me back then. It was like open-esque world where you get your Digimon and depending on how you trained them and what you did they would evolve different ways it was so much fun but then digimon kind of just went away after that but it has almost that sonic factor of they just can't figure out what to do with the franchise and everything about the tone and the idea of digimon survive was what i felt like yes that's what it needs digimon world but gritty that's what I think I expected to play. Uh, the flowers sure are pretty can we take a breather no let's let's hurry on ahead and as I sat there on Twitch, I had this bad feeling. Okay, so it's literally, it's two hours in. So I went to YouTube and scrubbed through the timeline to see how long it would take before I get to gameplay. And it was over two hours into the game. Do you start diving into some tactic stuff? And that's the experience. It's mostly a visual novel with some tactics things spliced in. And I feel like when the, when the visual novel parts look so pretty, 
and then the gameplay is this. I mean, that just is two very contrasting qualities. I want to be clear that me not knowing what the game was before starting it is my bad, and I'm not complaining about that. It's just that once I started playing it, what was presented to me appeared unfinished and obviously went through some development problems. I feel like a lot of fans of this game or even the genre are going to be upset that I'm upset just because it's not what I thought it was. And I think there's a level of fairness there, but I can't help that. I mean, partly it was because of the lackluster marketing, but also I think if any franchise went five or six years without an installment and then released a radically different version of the game, and on top of that, they chose a genre that's incredibly niche and not been done in the Digimon series before, there are people that are going to be bummed out. It's a visual novel. I didn't realize it was a visual novel. It's a 40, oh. 60, 70, 80 hour text-based just reading. It's a digital novel. Yeah. Digimon. Yeah. Digimon digital novel. <laughs> It's a good joke. It's a good joke. That's actually a, a pretty um, good joke. So I know what you might be thinking then. If it's not for you, why are you even talking about it? It's because I think there's a greater point here. I think the point is, this isn't what Digimon needs right now. Like if Pokemon came out with a visual novel right now, that's fine. It's not for me. I probably still wouldn't play it. It'd probably still do well because it's Pokemon. But we have Arceus and we have Scarlet and Violet coming out soon. Pokemon can afford to do another weird, wacky spinoff and be fine. Digimon can't. If Digimon wants to make a comeback, they've got to make a Digimon game. They got to spend five years on a Digimon game, not a visual novel game that's Digimon themed. But that's just my opinion. I don't know. I I, I, I like Digimon a lot and I'm just so, oh, one, I just, maybe I should just play Digimon World again. Maybe that's my problem. All right, well, let's, let's bring it back around to have more fun, to be a little bit more positive here on this, what day is it? Tuesday? I want to look at the submissions. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup. For people who think that they've done this correctly. $10, it's a perfect pickup. Perfect pickup, pick per perfect pickup. Per I can't say it twice. That is impossible, my dude. If you can say perfect pickup 10 times fast without stuttering, film it and send it to me on Twitter, I'll give you a $20 eShop gift for the first person. Let me clarify, for the first person. I, I listened to a couple before I stopped and was like, I wanna do this in a video because, oh my God, nobody was doing it right. Perfect pick up is what I, I told you guys to say. Not perfect pick up. I can do and I, and Kim tried it and she couldn't do it either. Perfect pick up. Perfect pick up. Perfect pick up. It's way too hard. Perfect pick up. 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 Love you. Perfect. <laughs> Love you, but you didn't do it. Again, perfect pick up is what they're saying, but they you you stumbled. Perfect pick Pick up. Also, not nearly fast enough. I can go perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup. Challenges 10 times fast. Not just saying it 10 times. Doesn't count. No. Next. Okay, so you know what's funny? Is I'm going through my DMs and they're all sending me that freaking thumbnail. Perfect pickup. 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 <sighs> He looks so happy like he did it too, huh? One, your audio is terrible. I can barely hear it. Two, perfect pickup is not perfect pickup. Why is nobody getting this? Perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup. You pick gotta up. say the T. There's a T. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup. My guy, if you have to take a breath in the middle, you're clearly not doing it fast enough. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup. It's 10 times fast. Next. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Perfect up. Perfect up? Hey, Wood, I want a $20 eShop card. So, perfect pickup, 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 perfect pickup. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup. Did anyone actually even do it? Perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup. You guys, you guys are trolling me now. You guys are. You guys are you can't be serious on that. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup. No T, next. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup. No T, next. Perfect pickup, perfect. I'm not trying to be a jerk here. I'm not trying to be a jerk. It's a tongue twister because of the T. That's what makes it a tongue twister. If you eliminate a letter to make it easier to say, you're not doing the tongue twist. Like, I'm not trying. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup. Overex, a mod on my Twitch, also dropping the T. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup. 
That's the best one so far. But it, I wouldn't say it's fast enough. Pick up, perfect pickup, perfect pickup. Appreciate the effort. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup. Perfect pickup. You know you have to, you have to not stumble. That's part of the challenge. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup. Give me the gift card, and you said it three times wrong. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup. Oh, I was excited for a second because I heard a T on the second one. Perfect pickup. But not the others. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup. Oh, that's so funny. The faster he gets, he starts to drop the T. Perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup, perfect pickup. Was it fast enough? <laughs> perfect pickup, 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 perfect pickup. But you only did perfect for like half. Nobody actually did it. Nobody even came close, in my opinion. I am reissuing the challenge, and I want to state the rules clearer. Perfect pickup needs to be said 10 times fast perfect pickup perfect pickup perfect pickup perfect pickup if you can do it that speed then you have 50 dollars eShop gift card <laughs> somebody can do it if eminem can rap the way he raps really fast someone out there can do this and we're gonna find him and we're gonna give him 50 dollars <laughs> all right thanks for watching this video i love you guys um i'm gonna try really hard to get this xenoblade review out pretty soon but there might be a couple of the fun videos before that happens because it's a long game i like 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 the video Oh, whatever. See ya.